Microsoft just put the Excel Lambda function on steroids. Let me show you how. Microsoft just released a set of new functions that takes Lambda to a whole new level. I'm talking about the new Lambda helper functions. These functions have shown up in the preview versions of Microsoft 365 Excel, and it appears Microsoft has had bigger plans for Lambda than we realized. All these new Lambda helper functions use Lambda as inputs, so let's get a quick refresher on how Lambda works. Lambda is a function in Excel that allows you to create your own custom functions. So for example, let's go over here to the Formulas tab into Name Manager, and we're going to create a new function called Squared. And what we want it to do is refer to a Lambda function, and we're going to pass in a variable called x, and we'll return the value x squared. Hit OK. It creates that squared function, and now I can refer to it in my spreadsheet. Pass in this first value for x, and it's going to return the square of that value. Now the nice thing about Lambda functions, not only can it be one value, but we can edit this and pass in an entire array of values. And it returns the square of all of those. Now I won't go into all the details of how you can use Lambda. I have a couple other videos on that topic and I'll put links in the description of this video. Let's take a look at the first Lambda helper function. Map. Map is a Lambda helper function that allows you to map a set of values from original source into a new location and apply a lambda function to those values. So for example, let's do the map of this array and for our lambda parameter, we're gonna pass in x, which always is the values you've selected in your first set of parameters. So we're passing that array in as the x value and we wanna return the x squared. Make sure to do the in parentheses for the entire function, hit enter, and now we've got the square of all the values in that original array mapped to the new location. The map function also allows you to do multiple parameters. So for example, let's pass in this column and then this second column, and we'll apply our lambda function, but this time we're gonna have an x and a y parameter, which are those two values, and we're gonna do x times y as the end result and now it multiplies the first column times the second column and gives us the totals. Now you might ask yourself why would you use lambda helper functions to do this when you can just do something simple like take the entire column times this second column and it gives you the same values. Well that's true for very basic formulas but one of the benefits to the lambda function is you can get very complex and some of those complexities won't work by typing them directly in. So for example let's do a map of this array and this array and for our lambda function this time we're going to pass in x and y but we're going to do an if statement in here and we're going to say if x is greater than 20 then we want the value to be x minus y. Otherwise, we're going to take x times y. And now we've got a little bit more complex formula here. And you can see that for the first one, since it's greater than 20, it's taking 27 minus 18 to give us 9. And in the second one, it's doing 14 times 24 to give us 336. So map in combination with the lambda function is going to let you do very complex formulas, much more complex than what I've shown you here. By call. By call is a lambda helper function that applies the formula to each column of an array. So if we were going to do a by call using this array, and we're going to do our lambda function passing in the variable x, and this time we want to take the maximum value of x make sure we get our parentheses and hit enter and you can see what it did is it applied the max value for each column of that array so remember it's going to break them down by column we can do other formulas like min or maybe sum and it's still going to apply that by column 
One thing to remember is this lambda function can only have one variable input. So you can't do an X and a Y and have multiple columns. It's designed to only work across an array and break them down by column. By row. As expected, there is a by row function similar to the by call, and it applies the value across the rows of an array. So we can do the same kind of thing where we take the by row of this entire array. We'll do a lambda function where we pass in X and we're going to do the max value of X in that list. And you can see it breaks things down by row with the max value for each row. So it works similar to by call, but it allows you to do it in rows. And just like the by call function, the by row can only accept one parameter. Scan. Scan is a lambda helper function that does accumulations of values. So if we type in scan here, it first wants an initial value. We'll start with zero. The array, let's just pick this column right here. And like all the other functions, we need to use lambda. We'll pass in X and Y, which represent the starting value and the array values. And we'll do X plus Y as our formula. As you can see, it starts with zero and adds 22 to get 22. And then it takes that and adds 25 to get 47, adds 31 to get 78, and adds 21 to get 99. So it accumulates all the values in there to get your totals. You can do the same thing with an array. So let's say we edit that and select this entire array. And as you can see, it does the accumulation across the columns and then down the rows until it gets to the total. Now let's do the same thing with multiplication. So we'll take our original one. We'll select just this column again. And instead of doing X plus Y, we'll do X times Y. Now one thing we have to correct here is we don't want to start with zero because that will just multiply by zero and get zero every time. So we'll start with one. And as you can see, it takes 22 times 25, 550 times 31 times 21 to get your total. So you can use any formula you want to in this calculation, but it's just going to accumulate those across each value in the array. Reduce. Reduce is a lambda helper function that works just like scan, but instead of showing you the individual accumulative numbers, it just shows you the final result. So for example, if we look at our scan where we added X and Y together, we can just change this formula from scan to reduce, and it provides us the 99 as the final value of those accumulations. Make array. Make array is a lambda helper function that allows you to create an array of data based on the row and column size you specify. So this is how it works. Let's do an array that's three rows and five columns. And for the lambda function, we're going to pass in the rows and columns but we're going to specify the value we want in there. So let's put in the number five. Hit enter and it creates an array of the number five, three rows and five columns. Now you can also put in things like text in here. And you could come in here and even use things like rand between and have it put in a random number between one and nine. You can essentially use any formula you want in the lambda function to calculate a value to place in that array. Is omitted. For the final lambda helper function, is omitted is a little bit different than the other ones we've seen so far, in that this one is used inside of a lambda function. Earlier, we created a squared function, which multiplied these values here times these values here and it returned the multiplication between those two. One good use of the is omitted function would be to go into the lambda function here, edit this, and if the y value is missing, we're gonna just do x squared. So we can do an if statement right here and use is omitted for the y value 
And if that's true, then we want to do x squared. And if it's false, we'll just do the x times y like normal. Close that and save. And now, if we are missing this second parameter for y, it just does the square of the first value. Is omitted is how you can determine whether parameters are missing and optional arguments in your functions. And then you can choose what to do with them. That's a review of the current Lambda helper functions available in the preview versions of Microsoft 365 Excel. It'll be a few months before they are released to the public, and I suspect Microsoft will continue enhancing Lambda helper functions in the future. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click the thumbs up and leave a comment. I really do appreciate your support.